attracted the world's attention, let alone Australia's. It's been a horrendous and a horrific murders. And uh, once again, we pass on our sympathies to the families. Two days before the horrific alleged double murder that shocked Australia, police say accused killer Constable Bo Lamar Condon walked into a store and bought a single surfboard bag. The serving police officer allegedly used his service weapon to shoot and kill former TV presenter Jesse Baird and his new boyfriend Luke Davies inside his Paddington home in Sydney. Oh hey there guys, Jesse Baird here. As a presenter on Totally Wild, I'm the go-to guy for all the extreme hardcore stories. Police will allege Baird, a presenter who hosted shows including Totally Wild and Gamify, was originally the sole intended target. In addition to his on-screen career, Baird was involved in sport, winning the Brian Pratt Medallion for the most promising AFL umpire in 2020 and 2021. Something about the handsome and successful entertainer sparked Bo Lamar Condon's interest, but the full extent of their relationship is still being probed by police. Early media reports claimed that they had an off-and-on romance that did not end well. The New South Wales Police Commissioner faced strong backlash for describing the alleged double murder as a crime of passion, and Mr Baird's close friend Corey Dean Thorpe came forward to dismiss claims they were ever in a relationship. The Daily Mail Australia reported that Thorpe claims he helped the TV star draft a message to the constable, asking him to refrain from contacting him. Mr Thorpe also claimed Baird was followed home by someone unknown in a police car as far back as August. Whatever the extent of their interaction, it appears Baird had moved on from the relationship. Police believe Mr Baird had been dating 29-year-old flight attendant Luke Davies for a few months. Recently, questions emerged about the mysterious double life led by Lamar Condon and his preoccupation with celebrities. The accused murderer flaunted his seemingly lavish lifestyle online. Just days after the alleged double murder, he was reportedly spotted in a selfie with Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. In recent years, the senior constable was able to track down A-listers like Taylor Swift, Dua Lipa, Selena Gomez and Harry Styles. In a strange development, it's believed the accused killer was also the victim of identity theft, with a sex worker's website describing him as a French escort offering erotic massages. Police will allege Lamar Condon planned his alleged crime meticulously. The Daily Telegraph reported that police will allege his preparation included stealing bullets from a shooting range two weeks before the terrible events. We're in this position that a police firearm was used, and that can never happen again. Police will assert Baird was the constable's only intended target, but that when he turned up at the Paddington Terrace on the morning of February 19th and found Mr Baird inside with his new boyfriend, he killed them both. An emergency call was made from Davy's phone, but was shortly terminated before being connected to an operator. New South Wales police confirmed that neighbours heard gunshots at the Paddington property, but the shots were not reported until days later. The Daily Telegraph reports Mr Lamar Condon allegedly hid the bodies in a blue tarpaulin in the courtyard before purchasing a second surfboard bag in Miranda. He returned to the house the next day to remove both bodies. Police say Baird has two female flatmates who returned to the terrace on the night of the alleged murders, not knowing the two bodies were still wrapped in the tarpaulin in the backyard. Seven News reports that when the housemates returned to the home, they found it in a dishevelled state and saw a red stain in the courtyard. They assumed it came from a spilled can of beetroot juice. The accused allegedly transported the couple's bodies in a rented white Toyota Hiace van, where police say he disposed of bloody personal items of Baird and Davies in a skip bin in Cronulla. It wouldn't be until Tuesday the 20th of February where these items will be discovered and a manhunt launched for the alleged killer. Police say Lamar then proceeded to Bungonia, near Goulburn, with an acquaintance, where they visited a hardware store to purchase an angle grinder and a padlock. The pair then drove to a remote property and broke the lock using the angle grinder. As Lamar proceeded to drive into the property, the acquaintance waited outside of the entrance for half an hour. We don't believe that uh, she was fully aware of what had taken place. Police say Lamar replaced the padlock to the gate of the property before driving back to Sydney on Wednesday afternoon, the 21st of February. The constable allegedly returned back to the Bungonia property that night with borrowed torches from a friend and he stopped at 11pm to buy weights from a department store. The next day at 4.30am, he left Bungonia and spent time around Sydney before driving to Newcastle, where he went to a friend's home and asked for a hose to clean the van, according to police. 
On Friday the 23rd of February, the ex-celebrity blogger handed himself in to the cops at a Bondi police station shortly after 10.30 a.m. The 28-year-old briefly appeared before Waverley local court in the afternoon. Police have alleged Lamar made partial admissions to a friend about his involvement and has been charged with two counts of murder. He did not apply for bail and it was formally refused. Uh, Silverwater Jail spoke to the accused. Um, as a result of that, uh, he provided assistance. This is the first time that he has uh, willingly told us information. We're very confident that, that we have located Luke and Jesse. After days of searching across several crime scenes, police found the bodies of Baird and Davies at the Bungonia property on Tuesday the 27th of February. The dark-coloured surfboard bags were covered loosely in rocks and debris, in a bush grave along with items of significance. Police say the discovery of the couple's bodies was made with information provided by the accused, who had revealed the location when investigators interviewed him on Tuesday morning at Silverwater Prison. I came here to lay some flowers for my friend Luke. The horrific double shooting has left friends and family of Jesse Baird and Luke Davies devastated. A vigil was held at Bronte Beach where many gathered to grieve. The call for justice has been made by the community. The timing for the New South Wales Police has been critical, with the Mardi Gras board asking the force not to march in the parade in uniform for the first time since 1998. Lamar remains in custody. The case has been adjourned and he will appear on court on April 23, 2024.